Hey guys, Chess here. Um, just finished my technically first day um, in Japan. Uh, I'm currently in Tokyo in my hotel. There's my TV just over there. Um, and um, yeah, it's it, 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 today was um, it was good, uh, but it was also tiring and hot all my days. Um, the, the hoodies and uh, jumpers and stuff that I packed, completely useless won't need them for this trip it's like minimum 25 30 degrees but yeah it was good but so tiring and uh, you'll find out why in just a bit check it out Just left my hotel. Um, I arrived about five hours too early. Check-in starts at three, um, so I've left uh, my main luggage with them, and I'm um, have about five hours to kill. So I'm gonna visit one of the temples maybe, and maybe head towards uh, central Tokyo to see what's there as well. I first decided to uh, go visit the temple um, right near. Uh, my hotel in Asakusa, um, just to check out, see see how it is. It, it's so cool to see such a place in person rather than you know on TV or in anime, uh, that sort of thing. So it's really cool. So I saw a lot of people wearing uh, kimonos, and I don't remember the what the guy version of kimonos is called. But, but yeah, they're basically guys and girls uh, dressed up and uh, just visiting the temple and stuff like that. I actually asked the um, tour guide, um, our tour guide, um, Richard, about um, uh, if the, that was like a special occasion type thing and um, basically it's something that uh, people do on a regular basis. Um, it's, it's kind of like um, uh, we Christians go to church on Sundays, um, depending on the church you go to, you dress your best and you know make a day of it, that sort of thing. I then decided to take a trek to the Shinjuku area uh, because of a place that I had heard of literally days before I set off for Japan. It's called, um, it's literally called VR Shinjuku. And uh, I saw the advert on YouTube and I was instantly sold. So it's like, I have to visit this place. And because I had so much time to kill, why not? And it was amazing. Um, I only went for one of the VR game experiences. Um, there was the option to buy like a whole day ticket so you can, you know, try as many games as you want. But I was like, no thanks. Left to my own devices, I would have stayed there so much longer. So I was like, no, nah, this is fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Just one game. Just one game. Um, the game that I chose, it was out of two. Two games that intrigued me. There was the uh, Mario Kart VR, and then there was the Dragon Ball VR. Um, had to go for the Dragon Ball VR uh, mainly because what it's just it's Dragon Ball, uh, and secondly because um, uh, the line was significantly less for Dragon Ball than for um, Mario Kart. Mario Kart had a waiting time of like an hour, whereas Dragon Ball um, had a waiting time of thirty minutes. So I was like. Yeah, just go with Dragon Ball. Um, it was awesome. I couldn't get any footage um, of, you know, the of, of what I was seeing, um, like in uh, in the VR space. Uh, yeah, because it was just me there, um, so I couldn't get anyone to record. But it was awesome. If you are ever in Tokyo, make sure it's make time to get to the Shinjuku area and get to um, the VR Shinjuku. It is amazing. Um, yeah, and bring people with you because um, while I was while I was um, in doing the Dragon Ball VR, um, um, I had the option to go up against um, one of the um, uh, one of the staff members because I was there by myself. I didn't um, uh, I didn't have anyone to be against, so one staff member stepped in to um, be against me, 
and the, the final showdown of the Kamehameha. Oh, my days were so awesome. Uh, but yeah, I recommend you go there, check it out. I then made my way back to um, Asak Asakusa, um, and by that point, I was really tired from all the trekking and the walking and stuff. Um, but I still had about an hour and a half to kill, so I just kept walking around the area. Went back to the um, uh, temple uh, right near the hotel that I'm currently staying at in Tokyo. Um, chilled there for a bit, walked around for a bit more, and finally, 3 p.m. came, I could check in. And I did. So as soon as I checked in, uh, got into my room, bathed, crashed on my bed. And because of that, I slept through my alarm and was about five minutes late for the tour uh, group meetup. Fortunately, um, the tour guide uh, called my um, um, room phone and said, yeah, um, we're doing our meeting thing now. And I looked at him like, crap. So um, made my way there. Um, so after the meetup, we uh, went to um, went to a restaurant nearby. So we had a meet up at a bar where we had a few drinks while um, the tour guide um, discussed, uh, explained a few things about the tour, what to expect, all that stuff. Um, and then afterward, we um, went to a restaurant nearby and yeah, it was awesome. So much food um, and it was literally, what was it? Uh, for me, uh, the cost came to just over 2,200 yen, which estimate wise is, um, I want to say 17 pounds, 17 ish pounds. It was a lot of food. I could not finish the food and it was like around 17, it was under, uh, cause if, um, it was 20 divided by three. Whatever 20 divided by 3 is, that's rough, no, 20 divided by 3 times 2. Whatever. It was basically um, just over 16 pounds, roughly around there, 16, we'll say 16 pounds. So that's what 2,200 yen roughly estimates to, I think. Um, but anyway, maths aside, uh, you know, exchange rates aside, it was a lot of food at a decent price and yeah, it was really cool. Uh, tried um, the plum wine, um, which is really tasty, really tasty. I think I have my favorite, my new favorite alcoholic beverage. Um, I don't know how much alcohol is in it, or if there is any alcohol in it, but I didn't detect any alcohol, so it's probably a small amount. But it was really nice, really liked it. So, yeah. And now we're back here. So um, that's the end of my first day. Stay tuned for more. Peace. Thank you.